Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series in digital signal processing. In this video lecture, we shall consider a numerical perform circular convolution of the following sequences using concentric circle method. X1 of n, which is equal to 2 comma 1 comma 2 comma 1 and x2 of n is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 so the task is to find the circular convolution so let me start with the solution so let me write solution so what I have to do y of n which is equal to x1 of n circularly convolved with x2 of n so what is the formula for this so we must be knowing the formula summation m is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x1 of m gets multiplied with x2 of n minus m so two parentheses indicates it is not just the shift rather it is circular time shift so this can be solved using time domain approach uh, a table and making use of concentric circle so let me just prepare one small table with the variables n the signal x1 of m and the second one x2 of n minus m and lastly y of n so n can take the four different values that is n equal to 0 1 2 and 3 correct in all the cases x1 of n is the constant term so that signal remains as it is as it is defined it is defined as 2 comma 1 comma 2 comma 1 so I'll just keep it as it is in every step 2 1 2 1 and here also it is 2 1 2 1 and in the last step also it remains as 2 1 2 1 and what happens to x2 of n minus m so let me consider that so for n is equal to 0 I would get x2 of minus m what is x2 of minus m it is the reflected signal but it is not just the uh, reflection or the folding rather it is circular folding for that I have to consider a circle so let me consider one circle over here and uh, let me write let me divide that into four parts as I have got four samples and let me write uh, the value of x2 of m in this direction 1 comma 2 3 and 4 in clockwise direction if I read this in clockwise direction I would get x2 of m suppose if I read it in anti-clockwise direction I would get x2 of minus m that is important so now initially I want x2 of minus m therefore I have to read it this way as 1 comma 4 comma 3 comma 2 so let me write the same thing 1 comma 4 comma 3 comma 2 I just have to multiply individual samples and I have to add them up so that I would get the final output y of n uh, what should I get 2 into 1 that is first sample plus 1 into 4 that is 4 plus 2 into 3 that is 6 plus 1 into 2 is 2 so if I sum up I'm going to get 14 as the answer is that okay the same thing can be verified using the concentric ring so let me write this time two circles yes the inner circle I would uh, divide both the circles I would divide both the circles as four parts and inner circle I call it as x1 of m which is 2 1 2 1 is that okay so now 
what is there at uh, x2 of minus m that is 1 4 3 2 so I have here 1 4 3 2 so I just have to multiply the corresponding sample that is 1 into 2 then 4 into 1 then 2 into 3 then 1 into 2 so that's what I have done and I've got 14 as the answer so this is for this is for n is equal to 0 similarly for n is equal to 1 so if I make n is equal to 1 this signal gets shifted to the right by 1 and the first sample I will not have anything 2 I will write it at the beginning is that okay 2 I will write it at the beginning then each sample gets shifted by one position is that okay so x2 of 1 minus m I'm going to get it as 2 comma 1 comma 4 comma 3 so I just have to multiply and add the samples 2 into 2 that is 4 then I have 1 into 1 that is 1 then I have 2 into 4 that is 8 plus 1 into 3 is 3 so if I add what I'm going to get 16 16 as the answer correct again the same thing can be explained using the concentric uh, ring method so let me draw the two circles again one outer circle and one inner circle and as I said I'm going to keep the inner circle samples same this is 2 1 2 1 so now this is the outer circle which is x2 of minus m so here I'm going to shift this signal so I'm going to rotate this so one was earlier here so now it comes to this position 4 was here it comes to here and then 3 was here it comes here then 2 was here it comes here is that okay so if I multiply the corresponding samples and add them up 2 into 2 that is 4 1 into 1 that is 1 2 into 4 that is 8 1 into 3 that is 3 so I'm going to get this answer similarly moving further I have to vary n is equal to 2 that is I'm going to get x2 of 2 minus m so again I already have x2 of 1 minus m shift this signal one more time so 3 comes to the beginning and these things get shifted to the right by one position so that I would get x2 of 2 minus m as 3 2 1 4 so again multiply and add 2 into 3 that is 6 then I have 1 into 2 that is 2 then we have 2 into 1 that is 2 then 1 into 4 that is 4 so if I add them all what I'm going to get I'm going to get 14 again as the answer correct yes as I said the same thing can again be explained using the concentric ring as it was asked in the numerical I need to solve this using the method of concentric ring so I have to consider this also right this was for n is equal to 1 so now if I'm considering this for n is equal to 2 and the inner circle still remains same as 2 1 2 1 and the outer circle is going to change so what is going to happen there so it gets shifted by one position so now I'm going to get 2 over here and 1 was there that comes at this position 4 was here that comes to this position 3 was here that comes to this position so again I have to multiply and add the terms so that I'm going to get 14 as the answer so similarly the last signal that is x2 of 3 minus m shift the signal one more position so I'm going to get this as x2 of 3 minus m as 4 3 2 1 just multiply the terms and add them up 2 into 4 I'm going to get 8 then I have 1 into 3 that is 3 then I have 2 into 2 that is 4 and lastly 1 into 1 which turns out to be 1 so if I add them all what I'm going to get 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 3 15 plus 1 16 correct so this is the final answer and the same thing again can be illustrated using the concentric ring approach so let me consider two concentric rings and the inner concentric ring still going to be same 
width 2 1 2 1 and and the outer concentric ring I have these values so again this gets shifted by one more position 3 2 1 4 so if I multiply and add I'm going to get this as the answer 14 16 14 16 finally this is what the answer is the therefore finally I can write y of n is equal to it is a four point circular convolution 14 16 14 16 as the final answer yes this is again one of the simplest numericals in digital signal processing on the concept of circular convolution using concentric ring and I have explained this numerical uh, in a very lucid manner and I hope you people have understood if you still have any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and I'm happy to answer those doubts thank you so much for watching